Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. We are fixing to head out for a camping trip at a local campground called Clear Springs off of Wright Patman Lake here in Texarkana, Texas. As you can see, we've got the pop up hooked up. I've got our wastewater Rhino 21 gallon tank on the rack up there now I just washed this yesterday and you can tell springs here in Texas because look at the green pollen and the oak worms all over everything so I will hose it off right before we leave and more than likely it'll be like this sitting in the campground too this time we got the ice cold freezer in the back i'm running off a of shore power right now till we leave big old 60 vl dual freezer refrigerator works great it's just easier getting food in and out of this than it is the refrigerator that come with the pop-up and the stuff that we will be using like at night when we're in the pop-up i'll transfer to the refrigerator in the pop-up maybe <laughs> but we've got everything packed and uh kind of waiting on a storm to blow through looks like three to five is going to be the biggest part of it coming through our area unless the weather changes We've got our table and chairs up top on the rack. And most everything is in the pop-up or in this box. And I try to keep the front of this box pretty light because the time you add two batteries, two propane tanks, which I put a empty tank on one side because I don't need to carry two full propane tanks around all the time unless it's gonna be an extended trip. And then you've got your power winch and since we're not going far, I'm not going to hook the sway bar up. But by the time you add all that weight up, you start getting pretty heavy. And as you see the tongue is double uh, tubing there, you know, it's tongue on this, or the tongue weight on this can get pretty heavy fast if you're not careful. And you see we also have a spot here if you want to plug in some, a solar suitcase. Uh, me personally, I won't use that if I use my suitcase. I'll be uh, adding a plug to, straight to my batteries with the plug hanging out of the box and I'll just plug right into the batteries. But I thought I'd do a short start to the trip. And uh, one thing that we do right before we go is I'll undo the latches on the top and pop the top up about an inch and a half so I can open this door and then you have a lot of space right in here that I have uh, a couple containers I slide in uh, there's a couple yard chairs in there and uh, stuff like that but I try to put everything as much as I can in the, the camper instead of having to put it in my Jeep but I look forward to uh, getting to the campground and we will see you there I hope you're getting outside this weekend. This morning at Clear Springs Campground off of Lake Wright Patman. 
and the campground is pretty much full up. Had a pretty good night last night. We did have some party people back over that away somewhere. Pretty loud. Way into the late hours of the night. That's the one of the biggest difference from our dispersed camping in the National Forest and coming to a public campground like a state park or one of these fed parks is you're going to be around people and you never know what kind of people you're going to be around but sometimes this is the type of camping we like to do there's the bathhouse and restrooms over there This fog should burn off later this morning. Got the smell of people cooking breakfast. I smell some bacon, possibly some sausage. We'll get our breakfast going in a little bit. Right now we've got the coffee and the French press soaking. And then we'll get our coffee and then we'll decide what we're gonna do for breakfast. Ashley said she slept really good last night. But anyway, we'll bring you more of Clear Springs Park in a little bit. Okay, we gotta have some breakfast. We got some sausage and eggs going on this suburban griddle grill. I haven't spent the time seasoning it like I did our black stone at home, but after this weekend, I should have it seasoned. But it's cooking just fine. Well, we actually set our awning up. This is the first time we've had the awning up at the campground. We have had it up at the house. And you can use the legs to go straight down to the ground or you can fasten them to the side of the camper. I prefer the straight down to the ground. Seems sturdier to me and they don't get in the way of my cooking on the griddle. But canopy's up. Now we're fixing to put up a hatch tent that was sent to me. And see how it works on the Cherokee. And in the back of the Cherokee, I have our ice cold refrigerator. So I could leave the hatch up with that tent. And that tent also has an awning. So that awning should come out toward this awning. I'm not sure how big it is yet. But we'll be experimenting with that in a little bit. Okay, we've got our Centronella wax homemade fire pit going again we'll see if we can get through all weekend with that although i did bring my other fire pit for and some firewood but this is just so easy <laughs> puts out quite a bit of heat
since we have never been here before, I'm down here checking out the swim beach while Tim walks Remy. Um, so this would have been so much fun when I was a kid because I totally would have just walked down this right into the water and thought I was doing something really big. So that's cool, but they have a little swim beach. It needs some more sand brought in, it looks like, but I'd swim here. Oh, look, somebody has made a little pit. That's cute. But I just wanted to show you that little sidewalk. Windy, boy, it's windy down here. Ashley's picking up some glass off of that. This would be the swim beach for Clear Springs campground. View of the lake that you get from this area. And there's Remy. Okay, here are the Joy Tutus SUV tent is completely set up, zippers shut up, and I use this for my ISCO refrigerator in the hatch, and as you can see, the extension cord is coming out the bottom, so I could zip it up to the cord and still be able to use it. Now, if I'm camping off grid, then I don't have a cord that comes out because it'll stay plugged in inside the Jeep. But there you have it, guys. Tutus, the Joy Tutus SUV tent. What do y'all think? Now, it's going to fit different SUVs differently depending on, you know, how they're made. And I do have a ball hitch for my trailer still in there now if i took that out that would probably make it fit just a little bit better but if y'all want to check this out you can go to the description and get the link out of the description and purchase one if you would like to and there should be a discount code in there for it too
Hey y'all, um, we're walking the dog and we found this one section here. It's pretty creepy that we're walking through. If this footage is found later, at we went out having a good time, I guess. Um, yeah. The campground is back that way and then there's just this random road that used looks like it used to be like day use area Let's see if you can see the picnic tables um, yeah him and Rainy are down there everything's still here even the grills we're just in this cove off the side of the lake. See, there's a boat down there fishing. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like a party in the campground over there. There's the lake. And there's this really dark forest. Creep, creepy forest. So, okay, back at the nails down Another morning at camp. This is Sunday morning. We'll be packing up to go home later today. We had a nice fire in the fire pit. Beautiful morning. Had a great time in the pop up. Some people are already packing up, getting ready to go. They may have a longer trip than we do to get home. We don't have to be out till two, so we're not gonna get in no hurry to leave. Let's go make some pancakes. pulled up in our yard from camping at Clear Springs campground and I forgot to grab our stickers for the map we normally put them want to put them on at the campground but this time the backyard is gonna have to work I've got Texas. 